KNXT Channel 2. KNXT Channel 2. KNXT Channel 2. KNXT Channel 2, Los Angeles. Watch Newsroom at 11. Southern California's most complete news coverage is next. Southern California's most complete news coverage is next. EU Channel 2. I'm Connie Chung from the Channel 2 Newsroom. Sources are telling Ted Dawson whether or not Rams coach Chuck Knox is going to Detroit. And Ted will tell us what he knows tonight at 5 o'clock. So join us. Here's to LA. Here's to Connie Chung. Channel 2, Southern California. Channel 2, Southern California. California. Channel 2, Southern California. This is the Channel 2 News Update. The very latest news with Marsha Brandwin, Connie Chung, Jim Hill, McClovio Perez, Kim Mariner, and Pat O'Brien. Channel 2, Southern California. This is the Channel 2 News at 11 with Connie Chung and Joseph Betty. Brent Musburger has sports, Steve Edwards the weather, and a special report from Linda Douglas. Roy and Dale, 7.30 Monday night. China's Great Bronze Age, 7.30 tomorrow. KNXT, Los Angeles. This week at 11. It's going to be cold today with a 40% chance of rain in the Southland. Winds are expected. Temperatures will be 59 this afternoon at the Civic Center, 56 along the coast, 60 in the valleys, 52 to 67 in the desert. Good air quality. Channel 2 News, early report. Joe Carcioni. I love working with Joe Carcioni. He's full-scale Italian opera star who just happens to sing about fruits and vegetables. With Joe Carcioni, what you see is what you get. A wonderful, warm, communicating human being. He gets more information in one minute of time than you get from most reporters in five minutes. Green Grocer Joe Carcioni. Weeknights with Ralph and Marsha on the Channel 2 News, live at 5. Marsha Bradley. Ralph Story. Jim Hill. McClovio Perez, the Channel 2 News, live at 5. Jess Marlowe, John Schubeck, Jim Hill, McClovio Perez, and Bill Stout's Perspective. The Channel 2 News at 6. Good evening and welcome with every... Remarkable wrinkle remover Monday, 7.30. Fish fights off the smog at 3 tomorrow.
John Schubeck, Channel 2 News, weeknights at 5. Ride the rails in luxury Monday, 7.30. And now this is the Channel 2 News with Bill Sternoff and Roy Firestone with Sports. Looking for an outlandish gift? How about a $13,000 bathroom, a $23,000 bottle of wine, or a $5,000 vibrator sauna? I'm in ecstasy. You'll be, too, on Two on the Town, Wednesday at 7.30 on Channel 2. Sam Shepard's new movie, Fool for Love, at 11. Christmas gifts for the women in your life on America. Diane Carlton lives in South Central L.A., once a victim of crime. Now she's fighting back. At Channel 2, we think information can help. That's why we still treat news, her news, as if it matters. Police on the trail of a new serial killer. Story at 11. L.A.'s Filipinos, Monday at 6. This is Channel 2 News. Los Angeles. This is Channel 2 News Weekend Report. is only local news at 7 o'clock weeknights on Channel 2. Watch the Channel 2 News Weekend Edition tonight at 11. Troubleshooter Judd McElvain solves problems on Channel 2 Action News. on the KCBS TV movie, a clever district attorney unravels the secret of a brilliant murder. Vic Morrow, Hal Holbrook, and Brenda Vaccaro star in Travis Logan, M.D. It's 158 in Los Angeles. I'm Jim Moray with an Action News update. A key witness takes an unscheduled vacation after conflicting testimony about a possible cover-up by the city treasurer's office. And Compton police fear the worst for a missing college student after a body is found in San Diego in the trunk of her car. More on Action News at 5. It is 158. This is the Channel 2 Action News update. The Democratic-controlled House votes to freeze production funds for the stealth bomber. Hearings into alleged improper handling of L.A. City funds by the city treasurer are scheduled to continue this afternoon. And a Metro Rail audit discovers $135 million in budget overruns. More news at 5. It's 2.58 in Los Angeles. I'm Bree Walker with an update from Action News. School district police have just arrested 11 members of the teachers' union as they were staging a sit-in outside the district's headquarters. Union leaders are among those arrested. And in China, soldiers have clashed with students. Dozens are reported injured. Details on Action News at 5. Join us then. Wake up with news. Traffic and weather. And sports with a smirk. Wake up with Action News AM tomorrow morning at 6 on Channel 2. Hello, it's 258. I'm Tim Lapley with an update from Action News. Both sides in the L.A. teachers' negotiation prepare for a possible strike Monday. The defense opens its case in the trial of accused night stalker Richard Ramirez. President Bush calls for Panamanian President Manuel Noriega to step down after the dictator's controversial decisions in weekend elections. Details on Action Wake up with Action News AM tomorrow morning at 6 on Channel 2. The crisis continues in China. Military reinforcements move into Tiananmen Square as the army tightens its grip and as foreigners crowd into Beijing's airport trying to get out of the country. Here in Los Angeles, there was anger and grief during a demonstration in Chinatown. 
and charges of the illegal sale of body parts at a local funeral home. All that and more on Action News at 5. We hope you'll join us then. Thursday at 6 on Channel 2. Next on Channel 2 News, the world waits to hear Michael Jackson's message. He's waiting to give it. We'll go live to his Neverland Ranch. And police say they've put a major distributor of child pornography out of business. 30 minutes or it's free no more. A change in pizza policy could affect your next craving and save lives next. When the Menendez brothers' verdicts come in, turn to Action News. Christmas on Division Street will continue. Sunday at 6 a.m. on Channel 2. I am one lucky duck. I am not as good at anything as I'd like to be. I am an eternal optimist. I am a big fan of David Letterman. Wow. I am shocked. By very little these days. I am happy growing older when you consider the alternative. I am in love with the Pacific Northwest. I am happy being a working mom. I'm in the greatest city to be a sportscaster. I am one step away from buying a motorcycle to go with that helmet. I am a big fan of Dodger Dogs. I am not Mr. Terry Murphy. And I am everyday people. I am definitely not a good cook. I am KCBS LA. Next on Action News at Noon, former police chief Daryl Gates is off the hook. A judge dismisses him as a defendant in the Rodney King civil suit. We'll have a live report. She was mugged on Mother's Day, but LA residents make sure an Oregon mom has a special day before she leaves for home. Plus, Hollywood mourns the loss of actor George Pippard. And it comes in your mail advertised as a free shopping pass. But the troubleshooter, Judd McElvain, says beware. Those stories straight ahead on Action News at noon. This is KCBS LA. Trisha Toyota, Linda Alvarez, and McClovio Perez bring you Action News at noon. Former LAPD Chief Daryl Gates and four others are dropped as defendants in the Rodney King civil suit. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Brad Good. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Linda Alvarez. Federal judge says Gates and the others cannot... This is KCBS LA. New information on the Menendez murders, Sunday on Action News. And come live the legend with me. Come on. Only on Channel 2 Action News, tonight at 11. Behind the scenes of Dr. Quinn, tonight on Action News at 11. This is KCBS LA. Day and date. Monday, December 18. Can you turn back the hands of time? We'll tell you what you need to know and when you should read between the lines. Dr. Nancy Snyderman reports. Live next, day and date. Day and date. Today at 3 on Channel 2. You're on KCBS LA. Southern California CBS 2 News with Gretchen Carr, Jonathan Elias, and Tony Williams with weather. CBS 2 News. More balance, more special assignments, more to come. You're watching Southern California CBS 2 News with Ann Martin, Michael Tuck, Steve Rambo with weather, and Jim Hill on sports. CBS 2 News. More balance. More special assignments. More to come. You're watching Ann Martin and Harold Green on CBS 2 News. The station of the people.
CBS 2 News at 4. CBS 2 Los Angeles. Ken Shotnick. Sandra Mitchell. And Henry DeCarlo with weather. You're watching CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. Police in Beverly Hills this morning are searching for... From CBS 2 Los Angeles. Paul Majors. Laura Diaz. And Johnny Mountain with weather. You're watching CBS 2 News at 5. This is CBS 2 News at 6. From CBS 2 Los Angeles, Harold Green, Ann Martin, Johnny Mountain with weather, and Jim Hill Sports. You're watching CBS 2 News at 6. Johnny Mountain with weather and Jim Hill Sports. LA's number one late newscast. This is CBS 2 News at 11. In high definition, this is CBS 2 News at 5 a.m. From CBS 2 Los Angeles, Kent Schockner, Suzanne Rico, Henry DeCarlo with two view weather and Vera Jimenez with time saver traffic. You're watching CBS 2 News at 6 a.m. in high definition. In high definition. This is CBS 2 News at 5. Now, in high definition. This is CBS 2 News at 6. Good evening and welcome. From CBS 2 Los Angeles, Harold Green. Ann Martin, Johnny Mountain with two view weather, and Jim Hill Sports. You're watching CBS 2 News at 6 in high definition. In high definition, this is CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. I'm Suzanne Rico. Kent has the morning off. In high definition, this is CBS 2 News at 5. Now at 5, a victim speaks out. Follow From CBS 2 Los Angeles, Paul Majors, Laura Diaz, and Johnny Mountain with two view weather. You're watching CBS 2 News at 5 in high definition. As Americans do their best to try and ride out the recession, some... From CBS 2 Los Angeles, Paul Majors, Laura Diaz, Johnny Mountain with two view weather and Jim Hill sports. You're watching CBS 2 News at 11 in high definition. Top Wells Fargo workers will. Covering the stories that hit home, this is CBS 2 New Central at 5. New Central to Harbor Gate. Covering all of Southern California, this is CBS 2 New Central at 11. New Central to Temecula, homes burn in a wildfire. Harbor Gateway, a woman gunned down. Boyle Heights, a police grand opening. Those are just three of the stories central to your life tonight. Hello, everyone. I'm Sharon Tay. And I'm Glenn Walker. We begin tonight with breaking news. A destructive wildfire. In high definition, this is CBS 2 News at 5. Now at 5. More. In high definition, this is CBS 2 News at 5 a.m. In high definition, this is CBS 2 News at 6 a.m. Uh, In high definition, this is CBS 2 News at 6 a.m. In high definition, this is CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. Our top story is breaking news. In high definition, this is CBS 2 News at 5. Not in high definition, this is CBS 2 News at 5 p.m. In high definition, this is CBS 2 News at 6. In high definition, this is CBS 2 News at 11. Kobe, baseline. In high definition, this is CBS 2 News at 11 p.m. the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News at 4.30 a.m. Coverage you can count on. Live from the
the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News at 5 a.m. Coverage you can count on. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News at 6 a.m. Coverage you can count on. CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. Coverage you can count on. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News at 5 p.m. Coverage you can count on. CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News at 6 p.m. Coverage you can count on. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News at 11 p.m. Coverage you can count on. From the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News this morning at 4.30. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News this morning at 5. And a very Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News at 6 p.m. Breaking news right now on CBS 2 News at 11 p.m. That breaking news, the first batch of COVID-19 vaccines has arrived in Los Angeles.